In this video we will be making a homemade crossbow out of popsicle sticks and rubber bands. <laughs> to begin we will be using a pair of needle nose pliers, some small rubber bands, one larger rubber band, some heavy scissors, some sticky or skinny sticks popsicle sticks some uh, super glue one pop rivet one really small nail a bobby pin some tweezers and a file begin all right to start things off we're going to make a small channel out of the popsicle sticks this will be the main shaft of the that the uh, crossbow bolts will be going down. And to start, we take our center popsicle stick and just lightly dot along the side of it with super glue. Also, I am using a notebook to glue on, so it's just a surface besides my desk that this glue will get stuck to that isn't like Permanent, for a better word. All right, now that the glue's on, just lay the thing flat. Try not to glue your finger like I just did. And place it at a right angle alongside and just hold it there firmly for a little while until the glue dries. Don't rush it, there's plenty of time. Except for when you're recording, of course, like I am. Again, try not to glue your finger to it. Alright. Now, do the same with the other side. Oh god! Whole little shaft ejected for a moment. And just repeating on the other side. Also, the notebook helps me see where the camera is looking, so I'm not always hovering just above my phone, seeing if it'll film where I need it to. It's not absolutely important if everything's completely level on this, because we're going to be building onto this quite a bit, just as long as the inside straight and lines up, we're good. Now there's some little dabs of super glue that have come up on the inside of it. Just take a popsicle stick that you're not going to use on the crossbow and just smooth them out. After this, just let it dry for a couple minutes and then we'll continue. Next, we'll just have two popsicle sticks and glue down the top side of one of them, being a little generous with the super glue. And while I'm doing this, these uh, skinny sticks, they're not all completely uniform. Some are bent, some are warped, some just veer off to one side. So you need to pick out the uh, ones that match up with each other while building, otherwise, I don't know, it just might be bent. This part, it's important that they match up, so just press them down, wait for them to dry. If it needs it, smooth out the excess super glue between them.
All right, now the next step is take your channel and find the halfway point, which is about right there. And let's see, just lift it up, super glue the bottom of it, use a hefty amount of super glue, and just set it in the middle making sure that this one is completely parallel or however you want to put it. Make sure it's a good right angle right there so it's not crooked because then it just looks really dumb. And wait for it to dry. All right, now that it's dry, flip it on to its back and Dab some super glue right here, and just going down its belly a bit, avoiding this section because the popsicle stick we're about to place on it will not reach there, and just put it. Ah, all right. Now this popsicle stick is just reinforcement to help it stay on and it doesn't take too long for it to dry just applying pressure down onto the top of it not too much because you don't want to crush it all right now that this part's done we will be reinforcing the angles right here and to do this, just cut off a small section of popsicle stick with your heavy scissors and being sure it doesn't fly off screen. And just line it up and cut about four more, or no, three more, because you already have one. It's not in completely vital that all the uh, little squares are even but it just makes it look better and one more now super glue right here and be sure to get both parts this part and this one covered with super glue and just set it on there's another reason for this, but we'll get to that later on. Doing the same on each side. Alright, now just holding it down, making sure it dries, alright. Now the next spot we will be working on is the channels, we're going to be filing down until there's a nice little channel on these two sides that goes all the way down to the center one. However, this process is very long and takes a while to do, so I'm going to be skipping it. But just to give you an idea, make sure your file's even, or lines up with each side, file back and forth. My advice for this part is don't be pushing down too hard on this, let the file do some of the work, but if you're just sitting there not even pushing down it will take forever so and the reason you don't want to push down too hard is because you might break off one of these sides so I'm gonna skip to the point where I have one done right here and slightly further back right here